Oregon. Well, Coach, uh, just talk about this is a big game this week. Everybody knows that Tascosi and Kingwood. How ready are y'all for it? Yeah, well, today being Monday, we're getting that way. You know, I think the kids are excited about the opportunity. And, and you know, it, it's week nine for us. And uh, being three and one in district, I mean, these games get more important every week. You know, the expectations go up. The stakes get higher every week. And week nine, the stakes are, are, are high. At this point, I know everyone's looking at the game as a rivalry game, but for y'all, it's a lot more than that about playoff placement and stuff like that. How much do you start looking at that kind of stuff now? Yeah, I mean, as a coach, you might look look at it. You, you, you don't want to. You try not to, but you do have to look ahead as far as a coach goes. But with the players, that's you don't do that with them. I mean, it's it's a, it's a district game. Yeah, we got two left. We talked about October, you know, the month of October defining this, this team. Um, this is another game in October, and you know how, how we come out of October is going to define us. So, um, you know, I think it's a big game, not just because it's it's Kingwood it, that helps add to the rivalry and all, but it's a big game because it's Week Nine, and and uh, they're three and zero, we're three and one, and and we're sitting all right there with the same goals as as a district championship if something happens to the Woodlands. So. Coach, you're obviously going against a pretty great running back over there in Shea Wu. Uh, what is it going to take from your defense to sort of slow down that great rushing attack? Yeah, and I mean, you, you know, you know that's what you're going to get. You got to go in the right mindset as a physical defense, and you have to play assignment football. You know, what they do uh, in the running game, um, it's, it's not the wishbone or anything like that, an option attack, but it is a running attack where you have to do your job as an assignment, makes you play assignment defense. And um, make sure you're reading your keys and understanding that it's it's team defense to stop uh, a running attack like that. It's not just make one guy making a real guy's nice play. It's if I'm supposed to take this guy on and make the ball bounce outside to my teammate, that's what I do. Or whatever it is, it's it's team defense that stops a running game. Uh, on your offense, uh, what are you sort of emphasizing today beyond in your attack to exploit them? Yeah, um, execution. You know, we've uh, we've shown is if we execute and and I don't mean you know there's going to be a um, you know a tipped ball or maybe a dropped ball or an overthrown pass or something like that. You know that that's football. Uh, but pre-snap penalties, um, missed assignments. Um, not understanding what they're, what we're working, trying to do because you're so keyed up and your emotions are taking over and, and, and inhibit your performance. I mean, that's what you gotta can't. That's what you can't have because um, the other things are going to happen. There's going to be a play here and there where the defense wins against you. So what you can't do is help them out. And uh, with a team like them that wants to control the clock and control the game and limit your opportunities, you know you have to make the most of the times you do have the ball. Is it, is it nice to have a game like this with two quality teams this late in the season? It, in a way, it almost kind of prepares you for a playoff game? Yeah, I mean, it is. Um, you know, I think um, anytime you get a chance to play, um, what we tell them is the only, only thing you're guaranteed is two more games. That's all you know. And if you think anything else, you're fooling yourself. So.